I'm Jessica Gavith, and this is your Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. We began with Mark Ronchetti. We have action out there. Winter storm watches for us across a good portion of New Mexico, starting over the San Juans, down in through western sections, and all the way down into the Gila. These winter storm watches go until late Wednesday afternoon as we have a strong storm system approaching. It doesn't look like, though, we're going to see tremendous snow accumulations here because the storm's probably going to move a shade too quickly. As we take a look right now at satellite and radar, we are pushing in more cloud cover and we will start bringing in some moisture across eastern, excuse me, western sections of the state as we push into tomorrow morning here. And here in the Albuquerque area, we could see some snow by Wednesday morning. Interstate 40 is still shut down near Gallup several hours after a crash involving a car and a propane truck. It happened at around 10:15 this morning between Thoreau and Continental Divide. State police say both the semi and the car were in the left lane when the car somehow ended up under the semi, causing the semi to roll. Injuries were minor, however, both sides of I-40 in that area remain closed as of 6 o'clock tonight, and it could stay that way for a few more hours as the mess is cleaned up. The Albuquerque man accused of killing his infant daughter earlier this month waived his arraignment this morning. 22-year-old Christopher Raines is facing a number of charges, including first-degree murder, for the shooting of his nine-month-old daughter. Police say Raines and the baby's mother, Ashley Trujillo, got into an argument over whether Trujillo was involved with another man. That's when they say Raines put the gun to the baby's head and fired it, killing the baby. He's jailed on a half a million dollar cash only bond. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.